there's a few things on the new truck uh, relative to uh, trailering. Uh, one is, um, you know, with respect to hookup, uh, we have a, a zoom capacity through the head units of the radio. Okay. Okay, so you can, you know, bring in rear view and simply go to the zoom function and then basically hones in and zooms in in that hitch area. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in terms of independence, in terms of backing up, you know, to the trailer, it allows you to do just that. You mm -hmm. know, and of course we've got, you know, grid lines and so forth to help guide you. Uh, with air suspension, if somebody wants air suspension, okay, it helps, you know, it raises and lowers, okay? Yeah. So once again, uh, from a more independent operation, you can unhook and hook up, you know, independent with, with the air suspension being simply raised up and down. So um, just back under there, lift, lift it up, lift, hook up your then, chains yeah. and plug it in and go. But one nice feature we also have is blind spot monitoring on the truck. So mm -hmm. it's, it's one of the, the new safety features on the vehicle. But with the, with the tail lamps, there's um, radar in the, in the tail lamp. Yeah. And one cool thing that this uh, tail lamp does with the radar system is it detects when you have a trailer behind you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you hook up the trailer, make a left turn, right turn, it in effect calculates the weight, or excuse me, the length of the trailer. Yeah. And what then happens is it takes that blind spot, which usually sits back by you know, your C-pillar area here, right. and it moves the warning okay further back okay sure so roughly around three meters behind the trailer you'll start getting a warning and if you turn you know if you're looking to change lanes and you got your turn signal on you'll get the warning mm -hmm. okay when somebody's approaching the back end of the trailer 360 view is, is new to the truck mm -hmm. uh, and that basically relies on on four cameras mm -hmm. and they're they're all digital cameras we have one in the grill mm -hmm. you know just under the a in the ram yeah and then each side mirror uh, has has a, a camera and then we have uh, one camera in the tailgate. Okay. So those four cameras work to basically um, define your surroundings in those you know tight parking you know um, situations you might may find yourself in. It also has adaptive cruise control, so it's so it's keeping an eye on the traffic in front of you. When right. You're yeah, that's another one of the new safety features. Um, it relies on on radar and a camera, yeah. and it mounts basically up high here in our windshield, mm -hmm. and so it's forward looking. Okay, and you can set the adaptive cruise control and, and it'll you know, lock into the vehicle in front of you when you have your set speed and then it'll begin braking for you as, as, you begin to, as traffic slows, it'll start braking for you. Mm -hmm. It can actually come to a stop um, and then as that vehicle in front of you begins to leave, you know, the vehicle will begin to accelerate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, another nice feature about that same uh, radar and camera system is um, what we call is, is forward uh, crash mitigation. Okay, oh. so if a driver is distracted, okay, not paying attention to the road, uh, that radar and camera system will sense uh, deceleration on that, that target vehicle in front of them mm -hmm. and begin to apply brakes, okay, okay, to try to avoid that accident. So, so even if the, if cruise control's not on, that's that's, even, a, that's an automated feature. Correct. That's there and it'll it'll start braking for you. Okay. There's lane keep assist. You know, yeah, that's yeah. Another thing. So mm -hmm. uh, it's a, a selectable feature off the, the center stack, okay, mm -hmm. on, on the instrument panel there. I simply press that button on and it relies on the, the cameras and the mirrors here. Mm -hmm. okay, and, and what it's doing is it's picking up your lane striping. Okay? Yeah. And once again, if you're distracted and so forth, as you begin to deviate and get into the view of that, that, that center line, it'll basically, the steering wheel will give you a little tug to, to remind you, hey, you know, straighten out, you're kind of, you're yeah. off path, you're, you're off center line. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. So it'll, you know, give the, and you can actually have three settings for, you know, the amount of force that gives, gives oh, really? feeds back to you. So it relies so on, it gives on, on our steering power steering. Input. Yeah, it'll give you a little steering tug back. So uh -huh. you can set it light, medium, or high, mm. and you just select that in, in the radio head as to, you know, what your preference is. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so, yeah, it gives you a gentle, you know, you know, heads up, you know, sure, you're starting sure. to leave your path. Now, if you turn your blinker on, mm -hmm. it knows you're changing lanes and it won't give you that, 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 that little tug, okay, mm -hmm. as you change lanes when you use a blinker. Uh, one thing that, that uh, I thought was interesting was the locking rear differential option on, uh, on this truck. That is, that, that's a pretty unique uh, feature in the 1500 level truck, isn't it? For our, for our Ram 1500, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the things we know. We've got, we got open, you know, diff, we've got limited slip, and then with the new Ram 1500 here for, for 2019, uh, we've introduced e-locker, okay? okay? So basically, it, it locks, you know, left and right drives together, okay? And allows you to get through, um, you know, more difficult type of terrains, okay? Sure. And so that that is uh, 
a new offering across all three um, uh, axle ratios, 321, 55, and 392. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that is, that is something new. And it's simply activated electronically by a, you know, a button next to our rotor e-shifter. Right, right. Mechanical locker. It's, it's just, mechanical. It's just, yep, yeah. it's mechanical. Yeah. It's just electromagnetically it gets activated and then basically locks in. Mm-hmm. And then, um, you know, you're, you're crawling yourself, um, you know, out of a... You know, kind stuff of, that guys get into. Stuff that guys, <laughs> yep, yep, exactly. Yeah, That's yeah. a good way to put it. <laughs>